All right, folks. I guess you know, in in my generation, millennials or or a generation above me or a generation below me, we tend to live with our family for a very long time until we get married or until we save up enough money to buy a house or perhaps stay with our family house for a very, very long time. Now, I'm not here to complain or anything. I'm just here to say that I currently witnessing facing my struggles that it may impact my lifestyle by living and everything. And I try the best as I can to avoid this. And this is the one of the things that I fear the most when I move out the house. Try to make sure that I could be independent and survival. And which is moving out on your own and not relying on your parents. You get it? Like, you know, you get a job. You see... I have three jobs and I'm just, just make it through, you know, for daily living. But I cannot promise next week or the next day, you know, at the beginning when I, when I got rid of the welfare, now I look at money so precious and I get stressed out. And having a th- only a thousand dollars in my bank account, and I don't know how long can I last that till Christmas. You know, and my industry is unpredictable, and uh, you know people cancel the shifts, or you know they're sick, or they have health problems, which is understandable. I'm not here to complain or anything. It's just tough times. You know, tough times makes a lot of challenges. And I can't think straight. All I think about is financial. And that is something on top of that. I, you know, just break up with a girl as well. And you still got the heartache. And uh, sometimes I wish I didn't do that. Sometimes I wish I just stay in a relationship until I'm a better position and break it up. But I guess break up can be any time. It is very, very difficult um, to live bare minimum money and um, plus you have, last week I had to pay, and I wish I didn't do this, pay one year rego on my my work car. Now I've got a rego coming up and I'm just there, I'm like, shit, I don't know, how am I going to, you know, do three months or six months or one year, I'm just there, I don't know what to do because... It just feels like the savings just going down and down and down. And, you know, this should this should be the time that I'm supposed to make money in November. Like, I understand January, if I'm like this, I'm, I understand I won't make much. But this is a closer to Christmas. Today is the 15th of November. It's the big, one of the nightmare anyone could imagine when you move out on your own. You try to secure, try to do your best, but, you know, in life... It takes a toll, you know, it takes a toll that, you know, what's been ahead and what can it do for you. And um, I was very devastated until my co-worker gave me his shift today. I was very, very devastated. But what is the chances for picking up shift with your co-worker? That's about it. And um, just very, very tough times, you know. it's I think everyone's nightmare moving out the house. Not getting enough income, you know, and it sucks, man. This feeling, it sucks. Um, Sometimes I ask myself, would it be better if I still stay in welfare? You know, wouldn't it be a lot better? Not sure. 